Hi everyone, welcome back to English Uplift. My name is Dr. Vinh Tong. Today we will look at the line graph task one writing in IELTS. The exciting things about it is the topic is about shopping again, and it's based on the real life data taken out from the article The Guardian and the DKE. And my student, one of my students, had a go, and she had done a good job. Let's have a look. Okay, everyone. So this article was written on the twentieth of November, The Guardian, and the topic was about the Black Friday sales in Britain. Um, if you scroll further down from that, you can see this one is the shift from online shopping to the high street since the pandemic restriction were lifted. So it's a percentage of sales on that online between 2019 until 2022, and with the prediction or the estimate for the future 2026. What is interesting about this kind of line graph is got the it got the 2019 as a past simple present perfect tense in 2022 and future tense in 2026. Let's have a look. So I have um, assigned this line graph as task one writing, 150 words a 20 minutes allowed for one of my students. And she did have a go and she actually did a fantastic job. So if you have learned how to write line graph before, uh, let me just give you a quick brief of what you need to do. First of all, please write a very good overall sentence in the introduction after you have paraphrased the question in the first sentence. Without the overall sentence, you wouldn't be able to have a band of 6.5 or above. So this is very important, everyone. The highlighted sentence here is an overall sentence and the first sentence was the paraphrase of the question. Okay, so the graph above illustrates the proportion of online sales for four different product categories from 2019 to 2022 and a prediction of the trend for the next four years. Okay, you may want to pause now and, you know, analyze the, uh, the line graph for yourself and then moving on you can see actually the overall sentence here is a very good one the profits of each field business experienced stable growth before suffering a steep fall in 2021 and slowly descending throughout the whole the following year until 2026 however an upward trend is predicted to occur so that is really good and then when you go into details, everyone, it's important to compare and contrast. Whatever the data you introduce in here, it got to make sense. I mean, in relationship with the others. No, it's not just the listing of the data, but it had to tell the story. All right. So this student, she has done a, a very good description. And remember, you don't have to describe everything. Just be selective and choose the best information you would like to describe. So during the time period survey, clothing and footwear was the most significant contributor to overall sales. Having picked at almost half of the total amount in 2021, this is a very good one. Complex sentence uh, structure right here as well, that's great. Furniture, total retail and food, followed by a similar gap of about 10% between each category at 40%, 27%, and 13% respectively. Now that's as perfect user of the word respectively. Okay. In 2021, these figures reduced significantly, significantly due to the loosening of the pandemic restrictions. Yep. With closed sales declining the fastest, having dropped by 12%. Very good. You see, when you when you introduce 12%, you got to say that it is a declining the fastest. Um, that is important, as opposed to the marginal decrease of 10% in food, as opposed to, as opposed to perfect um, comparison right here, compare and contrast. Right, next one. Despite the current situation, it is shown, shown that online sales may have a period of growth awaiting in the next four years. Furniture will overtake other categories with 
almost half followed by almost a half I think followed by closing and retail with a quarter each and lastly food at the end of the total sales so 192 what and my comment very good possible 7.5 to 8 well done so I hope you have found the, the video helpful Remember, whenever you write task one writing in IELTS, there are a couple of things you need to remind yourself. Number one, good overall sentence to summarize what is going on in the in the in the data there in the data set there. And the second thing is you don't have to be describing everything; rather, be selective. Any kind of data introduced into your writing should be comparing and contrasting well. So, in that case, you will get a good mark. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in future videos. Bye for now.